The European Commission's report on Bosnia and Herzegovina has just been published. It looks at the progress over the last year on a wide range of issues, including the economy, democracy, protection of citizens' rights, the functioning of the justice system, and how the authorities are tackling corruption. The good news is that after a long period of stalemate, the country has started to move forward again on its path towards European Union membership. The state and entity governments are committed to reforms, improving the economy, creating new jobs, and making the social welfare system more efficient so that those most in need receive assistance. Some of these reforms will not be easy and the benefits will not come overnight. But without these reforms, the BIH economy is going to go from bad to worse. I know that politicians in this country have often ignored the importance of economic development and instead focused citizens' attention on other issues. I understand the impatience and cynicism of many people who continue to believe that real reform is not possible. I also know how widespread corruption is in this country. And I share the concern that there is a lack of political will to tackle these fundamental problems. But as Bosnia and Herzegovina progresses towards EU membership, these questions will need to be answered, just like in all other countries aspiring to join the European Union. We are about to embark on a journey that will be difficult and take some time, but the economic and social rewards for this country will far outweigh the costs. We all owe it to this generation and the next to make sure that Bosnia and Herzegovina is not left behind.